What's going on, everyone? So, up next, we have Evan Shanks. Now, Evan Shanks, his story is probably more um, inspirational than everybody else's. Because um, he, he went in depth a little bit more. Um, you know, not to say that nobody else did, but there were some things that I found out about him, and I think a lot of people found out about him that we didn't know. And you really pay really pay attention to just what he's saying and how he's used YouTube to overcome what he's overcome. So, um, like I said, like I'm going to keep saying, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, hit that subscribe button and also like this video. You know, let and share these videos. Please share them, especially with anybody who um, feels like. You know who's trying. You know who's doing the same thing with YouTube, and you know they they may be losing confidence. Just send them, share these videos. Um, even if they're not paying attention to me, pay attention to these guys on stage because they're real. They really do know what they're talking about, and they really are inspirational. So enjoy the video. What's up guys? Uh, my name is Evan Shanks. I actually don't even know how I got here. They kind of picked me up on the side of the road um, and they brought me here. They're like, yo, you, sh you should just show up. No, I'm just kidding. My name is Evan Shanks. I have the YouTube channel, Evan Shanks. And um, <laughs> to kind of address a couple of the questions that I've had today, and I know some, some of you might not have gotten to me, but closer, closer, good. This is good. All right, cool. So you guys can hear me a little better now. A couple of the questions that I've been asked today, I'm going to talk about a little bit about my cars. Um, Miata, let's talk about those. I have a Project Miata that I bought about a year ago, and I also have a 1993 Lexus SC300 that I'm one JZ GTE swapping, and we're going to be drifting with that. I have my Project Miata that I do track stuff with. I used to have a Subaru STI, but I traded that in and got a sweet dad wagon that's got a V8 and it's fast, so that's really cool. But um, I'm going to address a few of the questions that a lot of you guys have had with me. Um, the, the Miata, I want to make it known that I'm pretty happy with the power that it's at right now. It's the car that I do like autocross and track days and stuff with. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be, hopefully K20 swapping that car. That's like my, it's one of my, it's, it's, I want to like do hill climb with that car someday. So I want to have like a giant turbo, single, single turbo K20 and that car eventually. But uh, so that should be a pretty, pretty monstrous car. But I've also, to answer some questions about the Lexus, um, I did just recently, if you've been keeping up with my videos, if you haven't, it's okay, I'll smack you in the face later. But um, <laughs> we, I just bought a, a custom wiring harness for it, so the, and an ECU from Canada, which that's, that has been a long story, but the car should be running pretty fairly soon, so we'll, we'll be doing that. I'm really excited to get that on the road um, to, to start skidding. So, answering that, and then obviously I just got the, uh, the Jeep SRT8. I really love that. It's the coolest little bad wagon I could ever ask for. It's got a big V8 in it, and it's pretty awesome. So there'll be more stuff on that. I'm going to make like an exhaust for it. But we also have to keep in mind, it's also the fiance's car as well. So I can't put a big cam and stuff like that in it like I want to. But, uh, <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're going to have some fun with that. Don't but tell uh, <laughs> I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about me and my life. I know I understand not everybody here knows who I am. Um, some of you, even if you do know who I am, I don't know where I came from and the story about me. So I want to talk a little bit about me and my life and give you guys a little bit of inspiration and uh, maybe help you guys out a little bit. One of my biggest things in life is persistence and having just always pushing your absolute hardest despite what life actually gives you in return. Like I have grown up with a family that I felt like wasn't very supportive. I grew up with uh, Tourette syndrome. So if you see me start doing this on the stage, it's okay, it's normal. Um, but you guys can laugh. It's, it's all good. Anyway, come on. Um, I grew up with Tourette's. I have attention deficit disorder. So somehow I just graduated college. I don't really know how, but it, that happened. Uh, I grew up with attention deficit disorder. I have that pretty badly. I also have a struggle with anxiety. Um, so that's been a huge struggle with me. I have obsessive compulsive disorder. So I've got, I got a lot of things wrong with me, guys. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of a weird dude. But uh, those have been some of the things that have kind of really given me a lot of obstacles in life. But one thing that I've tried to make out of my life or trying to make shine out of my life is I want people to see me and see all the things that I have to deal with on a daily basis. And I want people to understand that it's not about the obstacles that you have. One of the things I've always said is 
it's not about the obstacles that you've been given. It's about who you are, and it's, it's better to be known as the person that overcame those obstacles. Um, so I want to encourage you guys, no matter what your obstacle is, whether it's a relationship issue, whether it's uh, some kind of mental disorder, whatever it is, because I have plenty of those, it's pretty awesome, but no matter what, <laughs> no matter what it is, you guys you should always be able to find hope in something bigger. I mean, it's, it's always, it's easy to just give up. It's easy to be like, oh man, it's, I suck. Like, I'm just gonna stop. Like, I wanted to do that plenty of times through college. I wanted to do that plenty of times through YouTube. Um, I, I've wanted to do that, I mean, even recently. Like, it's tough. Like, life is tough. Things are tough. You have to go through all these struggles and you have to go through all this stuff. And um, I just wanna give you guys the encouragement and the hope that you might need today and telling you that one, it's not over. Two, any obstacle you've been given is always able to be climbed over. And I want you guys to understand that today. So just take it from me, from a dude that twitches a lot and makes noises and has a really hard time focusing in school. Like, if I can graduate college, if I can overcome the obstacles that I've done, I know you guys can too. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today and kind of talk a little bit about myself. So just let you guys know it's possible. Now, I appreciate that, Cloud. Um, do you may have any questions for me or anything like that about the cars or no, YouTube? Back. So that was Evan Shanks. Um, hopefully, you found his what he was saying to be very inspirational, especially those trying to overcome the issues that they may have. Um, so um, you know, again, these guys were all great. Apex Boston was great. Um, I also want to mention Eli from Ignition Tube. Um, he he was one of the guys who put all this together um, and you should go check out um, driven to a cure dot org um, it's one of one of his friends has a rare type of cancer um, that he's going through right now and just check it out and see what they're about it was you know and what I found out actually was um, his friend is actually getting treatment at the cancer center that my girlfriend works at. She's an APRN, um, but I, I, you know, I found out about this about his friend, and you know, it was definitely. I went to driven.org, driven to a cure, excuse me, org, and checked it out. And you guys should check it out too. So until next time, like, subscribe, and comment. Peace. <laughs>